your girl Stephanie and welcome back to my corner of YouTube y'all I am so glad to have you with me I pray that you and your family are all doing well today we have July wrap-ups and August goals I am so excited to share with you the things that I've done and the things that I will be doing so let's start with July okay in July I had read one two three four five six six books and a, did a devotional I'm making sure I'm looking down at my calendar because I don't want to miss anything okay let's talk about our already you guys already know that this book was phenomenal it is god is not mad at you by joyce meyer um i did do a um get ready with me book chat on chapter 11 of this book i will leave that in the i card so if you want to check that out this book was phenomenal it was i'm not gonna say life-changing but it made since in a lot of ways that I was thinking that she tried to, you know, reverse for me in my mindset. So I am very, very glad that I read this book. The next book I'll be talking about is Prepared for a Purpose by Annette Tuff. This book is regarding the um what school is this you would think i would know ronald e mcnair discovery learning academy on second avenue um when i tell you to get in you never know when your life can be a book because i'm certain she was living her everyday life stuff happened in her life but never did she think that she was going to be writing a book and when i tell you her life story was not only comical it was really really sad it was girl bye you know all them kind of moments <laughs> you know with family with especially her father this is an excellent read um and how she um tried to get into the you know assist and help the young man that was um during a school shooting, no one, I can say this because it's, you can go on YouTube to find this information out. No one was um, killed at this school, but um, it was still a good, good read and story. The next book is The Merchant's Daughter by Melanie Dickerson. This was really good. Now, on Goodreads, I did give this a four. And the only reason why I gave it a four, I rated it as a four, is because at the end, they didn't talk about, I think it was two characters, because I was like, what happened to, yeah, her family? How did she deal with them? Because that's what I was expecting. Now, see, you know, you know this is a Christian book. A Christian teen book and I was still like that part of me in my soul is like girl they should have got got <laughs> but it didn't end that way and I'm like I still believe something else should have happened to those characters and her family so I'm not gonna spoil it so if you want to read it pick it up and read it go ahead and do so and then you let me know <laughs> what you think about what should have happened to some of the characters in her family. The next book, Tessa Afshar, Land of Silence. When I tell you, Ileana goes through some stuff in this book, Pick it up. Do yourself a favor. Pick this book up and read it. It's very hard to explain a lot of stuff without giving stuff away. But yeah, she went through tragedy after tragedy after tragedy 
after tragedy and yet um she is the one that touched the hem of the um hem of Jesus's garment and when i tell you when he touched her my gosh i was boo hooing do you hear me no when he touched her when she touched him when she touched the hem of his garment honey i was boo hooing it was amazing five stars all the way The next, the last, well, fiction, last two fiction books. This one is A Light on a Hill, and this is by Connell and Cassette. Five star read. There's no words. I am looking forward to reading um, part two of this book this month this book was so dang gone good i never cried so much well yes i did because it's next book i'm gonna tell you about <laughs> that book Woo! this one was amazing amazing mariah and I'm going to tell you about this book uh, just a little bit. And it's not about the book per se. This book will have you looking at your significant other all upside their head. Because you're like, uh, you don't say those things to me. <laughs> so I got to get out of reading all these romantic and um, heartfelt books. Because you make me feel some kind of way. And that is exactly what this book did. It was an amazing read. Pick it up. Highly recommend you pick it up. Now this book. <sighs> Paul, the Apostle of Christ. Now this is also being made into film. If I'm not sure if it's out already. When I tell you. I cried. I laughed, I was mad, I was furious, I was like, Lord, how could you allow this? The suffering of Christian people by the hands of a man because he got caught in his own mess. Now, that's in the Bible. Now, you can go to the Bible, so I can kind of kind of spoil this one a little bit because it's in the Bible anyway. This was about the um, Nero, Emperor Nero. And when he started that fire, and he was like, oh, no, it wasn't me. It was them Christians. Oh, I was hot. This book had me go through so many emotions. And then, of course, it had so much scripture that I had to, you know, read this one really, really, really slow so I could make sure I was um, getting the um, all the scriptures that I knew that were scriptures. I'm sure I missed plenty. But when I tell you, Angela Hunt, when she wrote this book, that woman, you know, she is talented talented an amazing amazing read and i think um when i do a giveaway this might be one of the books that i give away because i do believe this book is powerful that was it for all my fiction and autobiography reads for this month i did do several devotions um i only did one physical book devotion and that was my surplus grace book by my bishop bishop rosie s o'neill um an amazing an amazing an amazing this is she is an amazing woman of god who taps into god's grace and favor every day okay every day she's an amazing phenomenal lady i also did some devotions on the holy bible app 
And that one was, well, I did several. The first one was Goliath Must Fall, and that was a seven day. Another seven day was Biblically, Biblically Overcoming Anxiety. Another seven day, The Louder Song. Another seven day was How to Pray. And then ending with the three day was How to Love Others. And that one is Audio Meditation. Now, if you're anything like me, I advise you not to get any audio meditations because, honey, they say close your eyes, glaze softly, honey. I was knocked out. <laughs> so, you gotta be careful if you know you sit down and get comfortable and you go to sleep. If you're that kind of person, do not get an audio meditation. Don't do it. So, that one, I'm I had to listen to it like several times before, you know, I'm like, okay, I can check that one off because like I said, I kept falling asleep. And that was it for my, um, oh, and I did scripture writing for the month of July with Beloved Society. I did that and that is it for my July wrap up. No, it's not one more thing. Ah, one more thing. All the videos I had done this month, I have been using one makeup palette, and that is the um, Emily Edit, the Once palette. This palette has been amazing. I did all the, got all the colors that I wanted out of it. Let me let you see right here. I didn't use, as you can see, that I did not use every single color. I'm trying not to blind you with this mirror down here. I didn't use every single color. I did use most. I think I only didn't use one, two, three, four, five colors out of the whole palette. But like I said, I've been using a month and not once did I hit pan on any of these. I can't say that I am going to pick it back up again. If I don't, it will be um, donated, but um, it was a very good palette. I did, I honestly, I loved every look that I created with it. Um, it was okay. I, it wasn't, it's not something that, I mean, like I got to have. Now, I say that because I have you see how I collect books, right? I am a makeup hoarder. <laughs> so I can freely say that, you know what? I won't pick this one up again because I have so many other ones that I need to play with and to use up. So, God's thoughts for my August goals. For devotion, I have this Daily Guidepost 2017 devotional book. I will be following in this in the, for the month of August. And I'll just go to August and do the month of August in this book just so I can um, use complete this book so I can mark it off on Goodreads. So that's one that I'm doing. And I haven't chose the... Um, Holy Bible apps yet um, devotions that I'll be doing but I will soon. Now on to my fiction books and I have one autobiography book. Now I know when I show you guys this autobiography book some of y'all gonna be like really girl him but yes him because he done got it to his he done got his life together and that is the Michael Vick story. This is Michael Vick, Finally Free, an autobiography. I can't wait to read this one because not only was he an awesome um, football player then to turn around and get himself in trouble with dog fighting. And when I tell you they crucified him for that, not saying that it's right or wrong. I know it's not right. Um, but they were not easily forgiven of him for doing so that's all i'm saying so i would like to read his story his take on it the next book that i'll be reading this month uh, or for the month of august is the esther anointing and this is by michelle mclean walters 
The next book is Freedom's Pen, and it's a story based on the life of freed slave and author Phyllis Whitley, and this is by Wendy Lawton. The next book is When Jesus Wept, and this is a um, part of the Jerusalem Chronicles by Bodie and Brock Vianney. I know I had to do this one. <laughs> this one was a no-brainer. Shelter of the Most High by Connelly and Cassette, and this is in the Cities of Refuge um, series part. And this is book two. So I am looking forward to this. So I'm going to try my best to put this one last, but I, I, I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> and and the, the last book, that I'm planning on reading for the month of August. Again, not sure the order, but I want to get it in. And this is by Francine Rivers. And this is a lineage of grace. Five stories of unlikely women who changed eternity. Guys, you see how thick this book is? I don't have this book. I, I promise you, I believe this is going to be like a week and a half read, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But that is all <laughs> that I plan on reading. If I can get some bonus books in, that would be excellent. But I really want to start taking my time when I'm coming to reading these books due to the fact that <clears throat> I want to make sure that I'm getting all the details so I can do a better um, wrap up for you. I try not to go into too much detail on the books because some of you guys might want to actually read the books. So with that being said and done, that is it for my July wrap up and August um, goals. So until the next video, guys, be blessed.